Are you tired of losing zucchinis because they didn't get pollinated? Today I'm going to show you an easy way on how to hand pollinate your zucchini and squash plants to increase production. First, we're going to look for the male flowers. These flowers have just a stem. As you can see right here, it's just a stem and there's no fruit on it. Next, we're going to look for the female flowers. You're going to see the fruit and then you're going to see the flower. So in this case, we're going to see the zucchini and then the flower. That's the flower that we want to pollinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to pluck the male flower. Then we're going to peel all the flower petals off. So that we have just the stamen of the flower. And there's pollen all over that. It's hard to see, but it's there. Then we'll take the stamen and we'll move it around the stigma of the female flower to pollinate. And you're just going to move it all around it. Hey, 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 get a room. And then you can use that same stigma from the male flower on any other open female flowers. But we're just going to go around here and do this a few more times. Seriously? Seriously. Alternatively, if you don't want to peel the flower open, you can use a small paintbrush or a Q-tip and you can move it around the male flower to collect the pollen and then move it around the, the, the stamen to pollinate. And you can use this same process on cucumber plants and melons. Try this natural method of hand pollination in your garden and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Leave a comment and let me know if you've done any hand pollination of your plants in the garden. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.